they return to their old team? I don't know, you know what I mean? It's, you know, shout out to Mace, you know, the welcome back. It was lit. I didn't even really, I didn't even realize it until I was like, I'm like, oh, it's the welcome back. Like, so that was tough. That was tough. I appreciate Fast Freddy. Shout out Fast Freddy on the ones and twos with the welcome back song. Turned me up today, so I appreciate it. Back home, so it was appropriate. It was necessary. How did, how did it just feel to get the news that you were coming back here? I mean, I, it was crazy. You know, I didn't expect anything to happen. I like the trade deadlines in a week, you know, and I didn't anticipate, you know, being traded. So, um, you no, know, I appreciate the Texans for being transparent and honest with me. Like, um, they said the Saints called and they inquired about me and that they want me. And they said that if it was any other team, it, this wouldn't even be a discussion. But out of respect for me and what I've done and throughout my career and just how I started here, that they wanted to give me the you know option to make a decision and just let me sleep on it. And uh, I went in and I was like, you know, I told him, I was like, Coach Cully, Nick, I appreciate you guys for giving me a chance, giving me an opportunity to play ball and believing in me. And, um, you know, I don't take that for granted, you know what I mean? So they gave me a chance, they believed in me. And um, just, be, but to be able to have the opportunity to go back home where I started and, um, you know, be able to help them fight, for, you know, for a championship um, is almost something that I couldn't pass up, you know what I mean? So I'm thankful for them for being honest and transparent and believing in me. And I'm also thankful for, you know, the Saints, you know, wanting to come get me and uh, bring me back home. So it was just good news, and I'm happy to be back home. Did you, you just kind of fall right, right back into it? Excuse me? Did you what? just kind of fall right back into it on the practice field? Yeah. Um, you know, I know the offense. I'm familiar with terminology on the system. So just to be able to get back in practice and hear the calls in the huddle and go out and execute them and just try and do my job to help the team you know, be successful, do my job to help the offense score points, get first downs and be explosive. Uh, that's my main focus, that's my main job. And it was good to get back into the flow of things here at practice. Did you, you ever said, think you'd get back here? I was always in my mind, you know what I mean? Like one day being able to make it back, you know, um, me and my family kind of always just like, they was like, oh, you gonna end up in New Orleans again. I'm like, you know, maybe one day, I, I believe that'll happen. You know, I, I had no idea when or how or if it would happen, but I'm happy that it did. I'm happy I'm home. I'm happy to be back in Houdat Nation. Um, it's exciting, and I'm, I'm happy about it for sure. Well, I'm kind of excited with your family members, I mean, your wife and your kids. Just to yeah, I mean, my kids, you know, they were born here, all, like the first three, and they're like, they're like, I, that, I'm like, listen, you guys, could, I'm gonna take you guys on a trip. You like, you can go anywhere you want, like anywhere. It's like, Dad, I want to go to make New Orleans. I'm like, make New Orleans. I'm like, it's New Orleans. But they're like, they're like I want to go to make New Orleans. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, dude, like you guys were born there. Like you could go anywhere. It's like, I want to go to make New Orleans. I'm like, I'm like, no, we're not. Like we'll go somewhere else. Like, you know. Uh, so I told him, I said, like, Daddy's going back to make New Orleans. Like Daddy's going back to make New Orleans. Like, I'm about to go play for New Orleans. They're like, are we coming? I'm like. I don't think you guys would come, but like, you know what I mean? Uh, you guys will be there. You guys will be able to come to New Orleans now. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, they're excited. The wife, the kids, they're excited. My parents, my sisters, um, everyone who loves me and cares about me, blowing my phone up for the past three days, just saying that they're happy and they're excited. And um, yeah, so everyone that is in my circle that cares about me, loves me, and obviously others too is excited. So I'm just thankful for my support system. I'm always having my back, and you know they're always they're, they're super excited that I'm back here in New Orleans. So we all are. How excited <laughs> were Alvin and uh, in Cam? You know, I had been talking to Alvin. You know, like, and he's like, I'm like, you need some help over there or what? Like, you know, never thinking nothing of it. Like, I'm like, I'm watching you. Like, well, you getting all the touches. You know, <laughs> we had six catches in one drive. Like, I'm like, seen him get up, take a big breath. Like, you need some help over there or what? You good? How's your body feeling? He's like, yeah, I'm good, man. You know, I'm good, you know. But uh, I think he was happy, you know. Uh, Call Cam. I'm like, I think something's happening. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, I think something's happening. Like, <laughs> and he's, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody's excited. Seeing Teron, Demario, you know, all everybody I play with. You know what I mean? Um, everybody in the building. Everyone's excited. So, you know, it's good to know that your people that you're closest to excited to have you back. The reaction from Saints fans has been overwhelmingly positive to have you back. I'm guessing you've heard some of that. What does that mean to you to have people here want to have you back? I mean, that's special. I mean, I mean, who that nation is a special, special fan base. Um, the culture of New Orleans, 
um, the culture of the Saints, like it's just special all around, man. So just to have the support and the love from the city, from all the Saints fans, all of who that nation, uh, that's special to me. You know what I mean? Especially just how my career went from beginning to to my from from my eight first to eight years. I mean, it was bottom to top. Like you know what I mean? It's from A to Z, all ends of the spectrum. So just to have that mutual love, that I want to be back. Everybody's happy that I'm back. Um, that's exciting. That's something I appreciate. Something I. I admire a lot. Marcus, did you have that conversation about taking the trip? That was like Man, the they be time. they be doing that like for the past like two years. Like I want to go to McNorleans. I'm like, bro, it's New Orleans. Like you guys were born in New Orleans. No, McNorleans. But whatever, whatever they say. But they've been saying that like literally for like the past two years. I'm like, listen, we can go on a family trip. We can go wherever you guys want. The oldest gets to pick first. I'm like, you can pick anywhere, like, we'll all go as a family, like, anywhere, like, spin the globe, pick it, like, you know what I mean? We'll all go as a family, make New Orleans. Did you ever take a trip to New Orleans? No, no, we, I, have, I haven't been, I have, <laughs> no, I haven't been back to New Orleans since the day I left. So, it's just, not for one reason or another, right. just haven't, I just haven't been back. Just life, you know, season, I go home in the off season, you know what I mean? I just haven't been back, and, um, but now they're going to get their wish, you know, they're going to be able to come here. Um, my two oldest are in grade school, so I can't take them out of school. So they got to finish. You know, obviously they're a little marking period or whatever you call that. But um, they'll be here, you know, Thanksgiving, holidays, Christmas holidays, a couple games here and there that's like early, you know. But uh, they're all excited. And it was, a, it was reported today that you signed an extension through next year. How much of that is salary care management or is this you expecting to be here next year as well? Like, and, I think and it might be a little bit of it? both, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I, you know, I, I want to help the team any way I can. As far as cap, I'm not trying to kill the team with a cap. Like, I um, want to help the team any way I can. So I think some of that was that. But obviously, I would love to be here for another year. You know what I mean? So hopefully everything works out, play well, and, you know, they want me back. Are you going to try to work out a deal to get number 22 back? Um, I, I was trying just to get a nice number, you know, I didn't necessarily have 22, you know what I mean, it, just a 20, a single, something, you know what I mean, um, but there's some weird rule where if they played in a game and they're still on the team, you can't have a number, so, like, the number list is super, super limited, like, like 14, 16, 18, 19, like, all the 30s. A lot of run backs can run 30s, but 30s too big of a number for me. Like I don't want the 30s. Like, <laughs> so, so, so yeah. So um, it's just it's just too it's too uh, too wide. I'm short, stocky, <laughs> mounted up. You know what I mean? I just I gotta have the number to assist me a little bit. You know what I mean? So the number options were limited. Chauncey, much respect to him. He said he would give me the number, but I'm like I can't even get it if I wanted it. You know what I mean? Because you're still here, so I can't get it. But um. Yeah, so the numbers, number of options were limited, and I grabbed 14 because it seemed the worst of, of the, it seemed the best of the worst. You know what I mean? <laughs> so unless something changes, I'm gonna be in 14. So, so you and Alvin so, are doing. I said I asked Lutz because I know he's on IR for the year. I'm like, you care if I rock three? <laughs> he's like, I don't care what you do. I'm glad you're back. But I guess that got vetoed, and I'm like, maybe I could ask. OG Archie, can I wear number eight? Like, in his honor, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wear nine just off of the fact that I played with him and what he did. Like, so I'm, I'm, I'm finessing trying to work something out, but as it stands right now, I'm 14. So there's nothing <laughs> poetic there? Yeah, kind of like, you know, it's like the remix. Like, you know, the 41 14, it kind of Dick's Lexic kind of thing, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so we're going to make it work. You know, the number don't make me, I'm going to make the number. So. But I'm still working on finessing something. <laughs> but as of now, that's what it is. <laughs> you didn't try to do uh, Pat and Go today get confused since it's Friday, did you? See, it's Friday, but it's like a <coughs> Thursday according to the schedule. But it is Friday. So tomorrow's Saturday, but it's like a Friday. But today's Friday, so we do Pat and Go on Friday. So I was confused because it's a Thursday, but it's a Friday, so it's like a Thry day. <laughs> but we got the Pat and Go. We didn't have Pat and Go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, is it kind of weird, like, like you're coming back, there's a bunch of the same guys, but then you get in the huddle and it's Jameis and it's not Drew. Yeah. And, you know, I'm assuming maybe you're not even in the same, like, locker. And 
Yeah, I'm not in the same locker. I'm actually in Drew's locker, trying to manifest all those legendary vibes and all that legendary energy that he has. So I'm in this corner, and I'm just holding that corner down, like, you know what I mean? In honor of my guy. First Battle Hall of Famer, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to manifest those energy and that vibe and the legendariness of Drew Brees. So I do have a different locker, and there actually is a lot of different people here in the team. I have to learn my teammates. But, you know, being in the huddle, you know, I've met Jameis a few times in, in, in crossing. And, uh, you know, it's a little different, you know, not being in the huddle with Drew Brees. But obviously, you know, he retired and Jameis is doing a good job of just managing the huddle, managing the offense and, you know, doing his thing. So I'm just happy to be back, happy to meet my new teammates, back, happy to be back with my old teammates, with everybody in the building that I know for so many years and has kept in touch with me even as I was gone. You know what I mean? So uh, it's good for my spirit, man, to be back see my people and be home, man. Uh, it, it's a good feeling. Why, what's the dome going to be like when you start that? I think it's going to be electric. You know, even if I wasn't here, you know, I think it was going to be electric. You Obviously, you got the Bucks coming into town, a big game, you know what I mean? Division game, and, uh, you know, a lot of lots on the line in those division games. So um, now that I'm back, I can only imagine, like, you know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. I'm going to be super turned up, you know, and excited just to go out there and ball, help the team and help who that nation get a W. So uh, that's my main focus, is being the best I could be, help the team out any way I can, just make plays, bring energy, and, uh, you know, just just be me. <laughs> you expect to play Sunday, right? Of course, of course. Definitely, no doubt. I've been playing all season. It's not like I'm out of shape. Uh, just playing on Sunday, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm in shape, ready to roll. And I know the, know the offense, I know the cause, I know the system. Obviously, there's some... You know, refreshing up that I have to do on certain terms and stuff like that, but I know the foundation of the offense, so I'm ready to play and whatever they need from me, I'm ready to go. Some fans have said they want you to lead the Houdat on Sunday. Uh, what hey, would that mean to you? Hey, that would be legendary. On the first game back, return home, to, you know, turn the crowd up, drop that fist for the Houdat chant, that's legendary, you know. Anybody who gets to do that, that's always an honor. And uh, if they want me to do that, if, they, if everybody want me to do that, we going up for the Who That Chant. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Right. Appreciate Thanks, Mark. it. Yeah.